I don't know about you, but I'm finding that the winters in Scotland are getting shorter and also milder, and I've been finding it harder and harder to fit in winter fun in the mountains before the spring comes round. So as we approach spring, I finally got out and got to go up one of the routes that I try and do at least once a year. Oh, good morning. It is just before, well, it's actually just after half six. And I am, well, let me show you where I am. Let me spin you around and I'll be really cute outside. Uh, oh, look at this. Will I recognise that? Ta da! <laughs> I am at the Three Sisters of Glencoe, and I'm going to be going up there. Hopefully I've got two ice axes and a helmet with me today, so that might give you some indication <laughs> of what the plan is. Anyway, waiting for Jerry to come. It's a bit manky actually. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a bit nicer, but yeah, time to get the boots on. One thing I was going to say, look at this nice new car park. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> Very nice. But anyway, right, time to get the boots on and I'll bring you back probably when we're hiking and when Jerry's here. So I'm going to get in, go into the van, have my coffee and get all my gear ready. Port back later on. Jerry arrived and we packed our bags and started up the hillside. And as we started ascending, we were met by this friendly bunch of deer as we headed high to try and get away from these warmer temperatures in the glen. So as you can see, we've left the uh, left the car park and we're now heading up the uh, the rather steep path towards Corran Lochan. And uh, it's, it's a bit manky, isn't it, Jerry? It's a soggy mess, unfortunately, which I think sums up winter. Uh, the winter's been terrible. We're, we're talking about it. It's uh, 10, no, 2011 we did NC Gully, didn't we? And we were trudging through about a metre of snow here, and yeah. it's not been like that this year, has it? Not been that for a while, to be honest. Um, you, you do get a couple of days of conditions, and then, it, and then it's gone. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's plus 11, plus 12 down in the valley today, so. Yeah, so we'll see. We're, we're hoping to do a snow gully. It's late in the season, but uh, any more important matters. The last video, I don't know when this video will be out, but the last video that we released last week, Jerry was down to his last three iron brew jelly babies. I, I, I just stop you there. We were down to the last three. We were down. Because if they're my jelly babies, now that they're replenished. What's yours is mine and all that sort of stuff? Well, which mine is mine? <laughs> <laughs> which yours is mine? <laughs> but I, I think there must have been about 300 comments in every single one of them. People, thank you for your research, Thanks, people. Yeah. They, so. may, they may have got us out of a hole, right. but we'll, more of that later. All right, okay. Oh, well, yeah. let's get up there quickly. Hey. <laughs> We'll report back on that later on. <laughs> All I can think about is iron brew jelly babies now. <sighs> the muzzly, drizzly rain filled the air, but we we were confident we'd reach some of the white stuff as we got up into the quarry. And the path is a good path, but there is a tricky step that you have to negotiate, which we'll discuss in just a little while. And it's just beyond this lovely waterfall on the well-maintained path. So, <laughs> we've only got one microphone. Presenting Murray Wilkie. <laughs> Ta-da! So one microphone. So Jerry's going to talk about but this bit of the path. Let me spin round. It's a, a bugbear of mine. Yeah, and I, I hope Murray can show you the path a, a slab of death. So there's a, there's a slab that goes across the path and it's got the equivalent of a, a diving board or a chute right into a drop into the river. Now, irrespective of Percy Unna's rules, and if you don't know about Percy Unna, go Google, these paths are really well developed, highly engineered, and yet nobody's done anything about this bit here, which is a bit of an accident black spot. So. We're going to go the bypass, which uh, comes with the steaming boots endorsement, I think. Murray will show you the way to avoid. And maybe when he comes up a bit higher, he'll pan down and show you what would happen if you slipped on that. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Give me my microphone back. There you go. <laughs> need to get DJI as well. DJI, you need to sort this out so we can get two microphones. <laughs> Can't afford to buy two, anyway. Right, up goes Jerry, I'll spin you around and show you I'm scrambling up this bit. A wee bit of scramble here as well. But, uh, 
yeah, the consequence is a bit easier than the, the slab of death which is down over there. Oh. Right, we put the camera away. Oh. I'll, I'll show you further up what the uh, what we're talking about. Right, take put this away so I can do some scrambling. Jerry's just there somewhere and we've just come to the top of the wee scramble. So the wee scramble we come up is down there, but you can see down this way the slab, you have to go down the path there and then round the, the slab's just a wee bit there and it's right down into that pool so yeah, a bit of a water slide if you do slip but anyway, from here on in should be pretty easy going, we're heading up into the clag now, up into Stobcorn and Lothian up there, it's a bit, uh, wee bit atmospheric today but uh, let's just hope it's cold enough for what we've got planned and uh, we get both ice axes out or at least one. Let's go. I don't know if you can make out over here the speed at which <laughs> the clouds are moving past. It is going to be windy up here. It's forecast to be 25 to 30 mile an hour winds with gusts exceeding 40 in the tops, but hopefully we'll be nice and sheltered where we're going in the gully. Yeah. Right, we have right, we have stopped here because this is the point which we used to call crampon rock, wasn't it, behind us? Yeah. We'd always put our crampons on here because they were usually required. So it's now called sunscreen rock. Sunscreen rock. <laughs> <laughs> Global warming. We brought our, um, our tools down to bags our spot so we can sunbathe <laughs> later on, but Aye. I suppose it's just another sign of the times, isn't it? I think we'll need crampons fairly soon, actually, because there's some old snow in the wee, the wee steep. Which is promising, because we want yeah. some old snow, don't we? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, anyway, I thought we'd just bring that to you. Global warming, as per decided by crampon rock, <laughs> and uh, the lack of crampons the needed. Bench, the benchmark. <laughs> right, let's go. Flip-flop rock. Flip-flop rock. <laughs> Look at all this atmosphere behind me. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Look at that. So if you can make it out down, that's where we've come from, down there. The clouds kind of coming and going. I think it's going to be windy, as I said, up here. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. A bit soggy at the moment, though. I'll spin you around and show you where we're headed. So where Jerry is, there, we're going to be heading up and round into the quarry. So, yeah, we'll bring you back when we're in uh, the quarry. Hopefully, in a little while. So here we are, Jerry's just looking up at this, that's the crags, rather nice, and we are hoping to head up this one here, Road Gully. What do you think Jerry? You can't see, there's some wee cornices uh, on the right hand side above Pinnacle Gully. Oh yeah. Um, so I presume there's a cornice on NC, and the temperature is, well freeze points well above us. Yeah. A little bit soggy, so maybe avoid any of my cornices and just go with your plan A. Yeah, nice, uh, nice, I always go for the easier option. <laughs> NC would have been nicer, nicer scenery, but uh, there could be a wee cornice on it. And yeah, I don't want to be underneath anything this morning because it's quite, quite soggy. Soggy, yeah. anyway, that'll keep us moving. Yeah, for a short morning out. So we'll go up and um, get our crampons on and uh, get up. Yeah, let's go. Apologies about the audio there, we're having some technical issues with these new microphones and the fact that we only had one. But anyway, Jerry was just saying that uh, we were going to try and avoid any uh, gullies which had soggy cornices hanging over them. So we headed up and we got a nice rock to sit on and usually this part of the, the run out below the gullies is uh, completely covered in snow but the, the rocks were protruding unfortunately, another sign of the times I think. But uh, anyway, the mountain was looking wintry, but yeah, I think a lot of the snow was quite recent and the depths in the gullies weren't, or aren't as they usually are, uh, another sign that it's getting milder. But anyway, we sat and got our crampons and our gear on and Jerry uh, headed up the slope a bit to have a wee look at the snow and test it uh, by digging a profile. 
Oh, right, so we've geared up as you can see <laughs> and the weather's starting to improve so my uh, only took me about three hours to get my stuff all sorted, didn't it? <laughs> Which point Jerry's made his way up the slope and he's uh, digging a wee profile here to have a look at the snow uh, I'll bring you in The audio was terrible here so it's just Jerry testing the snow for avalanche risk before heading up the gully Better show the folks the important piece of kit we're using Well, I, I think we need to wait till the top Alright, okay Unless you want, no, no, I think maybe, no, we need these now Definitely these now, because this bit's going to be quite steep, isn't it? This is I the steepest they part. Might be on the steep so this, this is this is basically why people are tuning in. This is the this is the the big news. Is so big, zoom big in. Special thank you to all the subscribers on Murray's channel. Scotland's mountains. Oh my goodness! They give me a steer on where to get these bad boys. <sighs> and, uh, yes! We're back in business. So thanks to all the comments. Uh, <laughs> They told me which shops to go to, but unfortunately, I'm allergic to shops, so the interweb came to oh. the rescue. <laughs> oh, two! Oh, this is going to be two right. for two for Broadway. <laughs> this is my breakfast, by the way. Aye, quite fantastic. That's the healthiest breakfast you've had in a long time. Mm, nah, no, 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 no. Look at that! Fantastic. Happy days. Right, let's get going up into. We'll report back. And we're up in the gully. So having been sufficiently fueled up with our iron brew jelly babies, we headed up, hoping for some colder conditions as we gained tight and we headed up into the trench of Broad Gully, which is a fantastic route. And at the bottom part, it was still the snow was still relatively soft, it hadn't frozen up, but that was going to change as we headed up the gully and gained some height. Wonderful. So we're probably. Good fun. What are you reckon about uh, two thirds of the way up so far? Uh, uh, yes, probably. Uh, so this is. Uh, yeah, I was just saying to Jerry, you've been out a few times this season already, haven't you? Yes. You know, so this is the not first great, time. It's not been a great season for winter climbing, in my well, opinion. There's no snow. <laughs> no ice. No ice, but yeah, this is the first. I know this is probably the easiest of the easy. It's still nice to get the crampons on, and even, you know, I've not had these boots on or these crampons or these. I mean, we could we could te technically get a walking axe up here, but it's nice to have them out, and uh, I like to come up the road, Billy. At least when so. <laughs> Although I must say, I think uh, I would have failed. I wouldn't have been able to make it up had it not been for those jelly babies. Jelly babies uh, make all the difference. And, I mean, it's a grade one gully, but we had two jelly babies each. So. Yeah, so that's maybe why we're finding it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Half a jelly have one jelly baby for a deep one. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Right. <coughs> Enough of this nonsense. But it's lovely, it's nice, very scenic gully. There's no cornice problem in Broad Gully. It's a nice descent as well. Do you want to go back down it or what do you Possibly. want to do? Possibly. We'll see how windy it yeah. is. I think okay. it's going to be really windy up there. Way of Dorsal or right above us as well. Yep. Wonderful. That, nice. yeah. that was one of my first routes with you as well, remember? We, it was your first winter route, I believe. We, could, we couldn't get around to uh, Ben Uli. Yes. Right, hold on a minute. I'll spin, spin the guys around, see if they can see Dorsal up there. Don't know how. Yeah, there we go, right, bear with us, you'll see us in a minute. So in the middle of your picture is the top part of Dorsal Lorette and you can really see why. <laughs> it's called Dorsal Lorette because it's a, it's a shark fin of a rock in it. I'm surprised, well, it is very early in the day, that's why there's no view on it. It's a very busy route. Yeah, it'll be busy, so let's go. Not far to the top now. Road Gully is such a lovely snow gully to go up. There's nothing too technical on it, and it's usually just a case of uh, one foot in front of the other and not needing to stop and create anchors and all that sort of stuff. Which, uh, yeah, which means you have to be careful. I mean, the consequences of uh, a trip or a fall are higher, obviously, when you're not attached to the mountain. But uh, anyway, we uh, we headed up, and the snow got a little bit firmer and a, a lot better as we gained elevation. And before long, we were um, reaching the top of Broad Gully and looking forward to the magnificent views over to Bidgin as we topped out, or not. Nice snow here, isn't it? Beautiful. Hi, 
Okay, so that's us Woo! at the top of the gully and uh, yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? it was always good fun. fun. Always, always fun. fun. So yeah, it's um, usually got a cracking view from oh, from here over to Bidgin, but not today. It's not a wee today. bit of... A bit yeah. manky, a bit but manky. no complaints. So we're just going to head, uh, it's windy, but we're going to head round the quarry now and back round, so we'll report back as we're heading round. If we get, you sometimes get nice views into Ballow Hoolish, um, which is fine, so yeah, shall we head on? I think going to have to, because yeah. it's getting a bit chilly, really. A bit chilly, so, right, let's go. With no views to be had, and even the top of Stobcar and Lochan was clagged and we didn't see the point of heading up there, it's only about a 5 to 10 minute hike from the top of Broad Gully to get to the summit, but there was no views to be had up there, so we started to descend round the rim of the quarry and we're soon getting some views because we dropped some height and it's just such a lovely position. You get great views north over the Einachigach towards the Mimmoors and Ben Nevis on a good day and great views down west and of course back towards the quarry. It really was, uh, it was lovely. Oh, right. Oh, back to soggy snow, isn't it? Oh, I don't know I left it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's starting to clear now. You can probably get a nice view behind us of where we've been in the, the peak on the left. is Stobcar and Locker and Broadville. just cuts up. You can't quite see it. You can see the entrance to it and uh, the rest of the, uh, the climbs. Fantastic, isn't it? It's quite a place. But it's a bit soggy mess today, but yeah. good fun. No, it was good fun, that yeah. Was good fun for an early half day. Yeah, nice one. We've got brownie points, get back home. So, and more importantly, we found the supply of jelly babies. So, well, thanks to all the people that gave us the tips. Yeah, that's good. That's superb. So. Um, let me see the dentist is up. Two thirty. Right. We'll see you later. Big thanks for watching. Oh, classy. Corin Lochan. Big classy. Thank you. Uh, I don't know, I think Corin Lockins there. <laughs> See you in the next one, guys. Bye.